you see here is all material made by policemen. I just got pulled in. At some point, most photographs end up being documentary photographs. I'm an artist from Barcelona, size of Germany, from New York, and the photographs don't tell the whole story. I mean, this is a picture of a young man named Timur. He was 10 when his village was attacked. On his back is a bullet hole, a scar of a bullet hole. He survived by being buried under other bodies. Uh, I'm Mark Riddell. The typical American house is one of several houses which were called as such that were built at the Nevada test site to test the effects of an atomic bomb. And a lot of those houses were obliterated, but the one I photographed was nearly thin. Because <laughs> it was a thousand meters from ground zero. What if somebody has an unwanted pregnancy? Should they have the right to terminate it? No. I myself would have never imagined before doing this research that it would be a situation where a woman who is seeking for help, she ended up being handcuffed in the hospital and also sometimes taken directly to the prison. So no matter what you believe about abortion, these are the repercussions. The urgency of talking about this and, and how terrible were the consequences of not having access to abortion, which is actually what is the project about, and I make it that a priority. This is the beginning of everything. It's a police photograph uh, from a dying student shot by a Berlin policeman. It's like a historical painting. It's hard to believe that it is not a staged situation because everything is totally perfect. perfect. If you this is a very sensitive topic. It's this uh, police material, it was secret. I don't get hit in the head with a lightning bolt of inspiration. I just work on a daily basis. But you know, it's a very hard battle work to show. Like, it takes a lot of bravery. Collecting history, preserving it, sharing it, is just at the core of what this project is.